I'm so sorry that I have to do this, but I have to remind you that in the 117th Congress, we will have not one, but two QAnon conspiracy theorists serving. Laura Boebert and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, so Marjorie Taylor Greene showed up to a new member orientation and she's already making a splash because she decided to lambast all of her future colleagues about wearing masks. She boldly declared that they shouldn't wear masks and effectively shamed them for wearing masks. And then she proceeded to tweet about shaming her future colleagues for wearing masks. She was proud of what she apparently said. So this is what she stated via Twitter. Our first session of new member orientation covered COVID in Congress. Masks, masks, masks. I proudly told my freshman class that masks are oppressive. In Georgia, we work out, shop, go to restaurants, go to work and school without masks. My body, my choice. Hashtag free your face. Like, I don't know what to say. My head is about to explode. Like, it's going to pop off of my fucking shoulders, roll around on the floor, and then explode like a bomb. Like, how do we even process this? This is a member of Congress now. One of the most powerful people in the country just put out that tweet. Where do we begin? I'm done. I'm canceling the humanist report. It's over. What's the point? <laughs> I actually need my pen. Um, no, okay, we have to just start off by talking about the irony of her using the term my body, my choice. This is someone who is anti-abortion. She is pro-forced birther, meaning any woman who gets pregnant, doesn't matter how far along that woman is in the pregnancy, they should be forced to have a baby. The moment that it's conceived, that's it, you have to have a baby. She doesn't believe in bodily autonomy, but yet she's saying, well, when it comes to uh, me spreading my germs, that's my choice. If I don't want to wear a mask, that's, that's my body, my choice. But what about my choice? Because my mask is meant to protect you. Your mask is meant to protect me. The masks are intended to prevent us from spreading our germs. So that's not applicable, right? When you say my body, my choice, there's this implication that what you're referring to exclusively affects you. But that's not the case with masks. If you don't wear a mask, you are making a choice for other people. You are exposing people potentially to COVID-19. And then she says masks, masks, masks. Now, I don't necessarily know if she's shaming other members of Congress for wearing masks or if she doesn't like that new member orientation goes over the necessity of masks. Uh, but she doesn't like it, and she says that she proudly told freshman class that masks are oppressive. A piece of cloth on your face is oppressive, according to a member of Congress. I mean, she officially is the dumbest member of Congress. She makes Louis Gohmert look like Albert Einstein. That's how bad she is. I just, I, I don't understand. Like, to be this arrogant and wrong at the same time i just i don't know what to say and I, it's difficult for me to collect my thoughts here because i'm stunned that this isn't like some crazy random comment that you see under a youtube video or on facebook from your psychopathic racist aunt this is someone who is going to be writing legislation and voting on legislation it's just what a sad state of affairs and she you know proudly talks about how in Georgia, you know, they, they go to restaurants, they go to work, and, you know, no masks. Right. And that's an issue. How poorly is Georgia doing when it comes to mitigating the spread of COVID-19? How is pretending like it's not a thing working out for you? I mean, people are dying because you don't want to wear a piece of cloth on your face because you think that it's oppressive and inconvenient. So dying is the better alternative or getting COVID-19 and then surviving, but still dealing with, you know, the long-term health effects of COVID-19. That's better than just wearing a piece of cloth on your face because you think that it's oppressive, because you have some bizarre skewed idea about what it means to have liberty in America. No, that, that's stupid. It's entitlement that 
is completely unhinged. It, it, it's not even, it, it's just nonsensical. I don't even know what to say. This imbecile is going to be a member of Congress. And I honestly, I don't know how she hasn't died already. How has she not eaten too much paint chips or forgotten to breathe randomly? Like, how is someone this stupid, this old? Like, you would think with this level of intellect, she would be fucking like, I don't know, walking into traffic randomly. Like, there's got to be like some baseline level of intelligence that we accept when it comes to elected members of Congress. Now, I'm not saying that everyone has to be big-brained or whatever. I'm just saying that you can't be this stupid. Like, the bar is so fucking low that we are electing members of Congress who make Louis Gohmert look intelligent. The dumbest Republicans from 10 years ago, like Sarah Palin, look like brilliant people compared to the new wave of Republicans that are getting elected now. It's just, it's so sad. Because we know that this isn't just like an isolated member of Congress. She's going to drag the entire party further and further, not just to the right, but into delusional conspiracy theory territory. So, I mean, this is a member of Congress. Hashtag free your face. My body, my choice when it comes to wearing masks and spreading uh, germs. Unreal. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ.